Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the compressive strength of the concrete. That how the compressive strength of the concrete changes with the time. As we know that the concrete is one of the most used construction material in the world because of its high properties, like its high compressive strength. The concrete has a very really high compressive strength as compared to the other material. That's why, that's why it has been mostly used in the construction. It is high compressive strength, but it is also one drawback that it has a very really low tensile strength. The concrete has very low tensile strength, usually in the range of only 10%. It is usually taken in design, in the design only 10% of the compressor strength. The tensile strength is taken only 10% of the compressor strength. What does this mean? This is a tensile strength. Tensile strength is only 10% of the compressor strength. It means if the compressor strength of the concrete, for example, if the compressor strength of the concrete is equal to the 20 megapascal, then usually the tensile strength is only taken as 10%. So it means 20 multiplied by 10 and percent in decimal it will be 0.1 because 10% if we divide 10 by 100, so we got 0 0.1. So only 10% of the compressor strength is taken as tensile strength so the tensile strength is equal to the 20 megapascal is the compressor strength and 10 percent we take for the tensile strength so a 20 into 10 percent we got here 2 megapascal so when the concrete when we have concrete of compressor strength of 20 megapascal and then its tensile strength is taken as 2 megapascal for the design and usually for the tensile strength we provide the reinforcement bar for the steel bar because the reinforcement steel bar has high tensile strength usually in the range of 450 to 500 or 550 or more than that depending on the grade of the steel so they have reinforcement has the high tensile strength while concrete has low tensile strength but they have high compressor strength that's why when there is a high tensile stresses we provide the reinforcement bar in order to increase the tensile capacity of the structure member. Now let's come and explain the concrete strength with the time. So if I consider here age of the concrete in days and here I represent the strength of the concrete in percentage. So if I draw the table here, so the concrete strength increases with the time so for at the first day when we pour the concrete and the structure member then in the first day so when we pour the concrete so the first day strength of the concrete is only 16 percent while with the in time with three days this strength increases to 40 percent when we increase the time to seven days the concrete achieves more than 50 percent 65 percent of the strength with the 14 days the concrete achieves its 90 percent strength with the 28 days we assume that the concrete achieves 99 percent strength and then with the increase of time with the months and years the concrete achieves 99.999 percent for example with two years or three years or five years but it can never achieve hundred percent of strength it always achieves less than hundred percent of strength so concrete strength increases with time when time increases the concrete strength also increases so this is the variation that how the concrete strength increases with the time this is from the research and from the standards that the concrete strength increases with time and how much so these are the values 16 percent with first day with three days it is 40 percent with seven days it is 65 percent with 90 percent with 14 days and 99 percent with 28 days so this was all about the compressor strength of concrete and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video